This isn't Tina. Oh, brilliantly caught. Fantastic catch. Ashwell Prince, a backward point. Well, the start from Makaya and Sini. Not the ideal start for India, but Virendra Sebag was always going to play at anything short of one. Sebag, the man, just missed. He's gone for one. India, one for one. Pass to Oh, that's out. That is out. It's kept a little low, or he's played back to a half so one. Oh, the other. And so are alighted. Oh, Getting the toss and deciding to bowl. Can't ask for anything better. Rooted to the crease, the length of the three fails. He goes for one. It's four for two. and a big appeal, everyone's gone up and he's gone. The little master is out, what a start this is for Sri. Very disappointed, but this was another great delivery, good seat position in the right channel. Tendulkar, take a wicket. Tendulkar gone for two, India struggling, five three. Two or three times now. This is beautiful time. And that will bring a cheer. That is ability to put the loose ones away. Was particularly a very bad delivery. It's in the air and it's gone over the top for half a dozen. Certainly was now the middle. A little bit of a top edge for McLean Tenney intent on trying the short ball. Got enough bat on it to take it over the fence. That's a welcome. Phil Sheffield in the back fourth. Beautifully played. An indication that he's going to feel more comfortable now. That's a fine strike indeed to end the over. Twice again. And there's another wicket. Mark Barch is taking a good catch. The Quarantini eventually turns around and sees the fair run from a pipe down Harbour. This is absolutely remarkable. For it, three slips in position. Foot nowhere near the ball. The angle and then obvious movement away. Taking five for five. Square on the offside. And a great get there off the mark and start. That is a good shot now. Uh, it's time for time. Obviously, not slated to come in. Be not too much time to get padded up and think about things. So, that's a good shot. away from his body, just going away from the man, outstretched hands, and pulled in the air, and it beats it on, and will run away for four, he didn't hit it as well as I think he would have liked, but well enough, he taken, as you would see, really not um, hitting in the sweet spot, and going just wide of the man at uh, mid-on, field the ball, in the air, and cleanly hit for four, He's expected to play shots in the air, but um, once he does, no doubt he'll need to continue from where he left off against the Sri Lankans. He's been in good legs. Smashed away through extra cover. He's hit that like a bullet. We can't really give it up to Patan. He's um, always prepared a little bit of wit. Hammers it square of the wicket. Oh, he's beaten third man again, and he felt slip again, and third man. Let's get him in the right order. To make international level. It's nicely struck. That's what they need in here. Just the odd boundary from time to time, just to get this partnership accumulating nicely. And on the leg. Not an old Mr. Lebrick, but gets into good position. Head over the ball. Not getting far too. Get it! Over the top. Graham Smith was working. And a short third man. So there's the boundary off the over. That's what India need. But uh, certainly just chance. Doing the adjustment well in the end, the bowler boots up. Pulling it quicker, reducing the length. In the air for a while, but straight enough. Four runs, well struck. Good control for the time.
presenting the full face of the bat, you have a much better chance of making good contact. That is true. May not reach the fence. It just does. Just rolls over the fence. So, a boundary to the over. Welcome back. Oh, yeah! That is unfortunate for Irfan Patan. A well bowled indeed. He's got him played on. He's bowled him. So, the sixth wicket falls. Yeah. It was not quite certain that he was going in for the shot for the drive or was he going to play on the back foot. Just oh, yeah, yeah. spin in. I'm for six. A firm hit with a quarter chase, just eluding the diving hands of Sean Pollock there. Four to Goni. And now it's like a powerful machine when he's having it in his hands. And there you are, win effort from uh, Sean Pollock. Pollock back in the attack, by the way. Inside edge, just past Mark Batchel, got half a glove on it. But it's still going to run away for a boundary. A bit fortunate, but they'll take it. Once again, the line was extremely good from Sean Pollock. Yuvraj Singh into the shot, a little too early, playing away from the body. Bonus four runs. Well, at times, the founders off stuff out of the ground. He's cracked that one. That is a terrific shot. He smoked it for six. Also, had some torrid times early in the innings, and now he started to launch himself. Picking it from a leg. Beautifully played. Exquisite timing using the pace of Callas and on the boundary. A very rare loose ball from the team that the Indians needed. Impeccable timing. Had to wait for the ball to come on to him. Jeff Crow would have noted. now. Mark Garcher is quite excited by that one and has been referred to the third umpire. He is pretty quick, Tony. I'm just not sure that he's quick enough this time. I think he's gone. Is it 48? It's going to be red. It is red. So good performance again from South Africa. On the roll. Tony gone for 17. It's 159 for 7. That's cleverly played. Played it late, very deliberately, and managed to play it very fine, just using the pace. Welcome, boundary for the up and down the order. He's angled it. There's no nick there. He's allowed it to come to him. Played it under his eyes. Just opened the face and last ball. He's gone over the top and he's found the fence. Four in the order. Eight runs coming off this over. The 44th. He's taken him on. Gone in the air. And he's just found the fence on the bounce. The good thing about this shot was it was... He's gone over the top. And the fielder makes it comfortably. Justin Kemp, long limb. Reasonable contact with this, just whips it away on the onside, but the man is back there. Four or five long strides to get underneath the ball and makes no mistake. Uh, 21 from 27 deliveries, and India now one. But Yuvraj on strike. This time he's gone over the top, and he's found the gap handsomely. Didn't need it. It's gone the distance. That is six. What a wonder. He's as strong as anyone in world cricket in that area there. Wide him it on. He had to make sure he could get. Full toss this time. He's got four. Just guiding it to deep third man. Wide of him. And that brings up a well deserved 100 for Yuvraj Singh. Fabulous innings. His team in disarray when he walked it. He's flicked that. There's no plan like that. Four runs. So the Indian four. Straight down the ground again. The, he's calling for the second, but Yuvraj is a little late on it. He's gone for it in any case. Yeah. He is shot.
this is ridiculous, really. Yuvraj was content for one. He didn't actually go for the second. And then he was really pushed into it by Hapagan. Crazy. He ran the first one so slowly. And I couldn't actually believe it when he decided to go for the second one. Brilliant, brilliant century, but maybe India would have liked him there for the last couple of overs. 227. No hesitation about that, though. Support delivery. And dealt with perfectly adequately. Stump can work for them. That doesn't. Again, the full toss, and Hubbardan Singh is having a trip. Hubbardan comes straight and he's connected exquisitely. That is six, the moment it left the back. Terrific finish. Take nothing away from him. But I'm not sure that these two bowlers in the last, or these two bowlers in the last four overs, have really thought it's. He's got wood on it, he's gone over extra cover, but there's a fielder there. Can't stop it. Four more for Harbour Gun Singh. Standing ovation from this. Brilliant innings from Harbour Gun Singh, and of course from uh, Yuvraj. 52 of those in the last four overs. So there it is, India in all sorts of... That's why you get yourself in trouble. It's gone to the edge. And he's down four. And that's away again. Back-to-back -back boundaries for Graham Smith. And that is his trademark shot. It's the cut off the front foot, which he loves playing. Was that might have been sliding leg side. If it had that extra, probably played the long line and um, may have slipped down leg south after that head super one. That's a bit side. It's riding the line pretty quickly for four. Right more times than they get it wrong. Smashed away by Smith. It's four more. She makes only one. Short from Agarka. It's just swim. Drag it on. He's dragged it under the stumps. So Anton goes. Beaten a couple of times in that over. Pulled one right away for four. But this one for normal stop delivery at 137 k's per hour. Slicing at it. And Rahul Dravid takes a very. Must have been uh, hitting Dravid's hands. Anton goes for 11. So that's because 76. something different which is basically what they're waiting for that was a long hop dealt with by palace building of the indians today Oopsie. Out. there you go bring back the guy who does it all the time for a living and prince has taken him on to go over the top you know, there was that obvious temptation prince couldn't quite handle it straight down the throat of the the same eye. 126 for prince 165 for four South Africa and for Kent. Inside edge over the top of the. Okay. Have to hurry. Oh. He gets it. Pulled away by Cullis for four. Game set and match South Africa. One up with four to go. They've done everything right. Really controlled innings from uh, from John Cullis. I thought India recovered pretty well from there, sir. They got to about 2.49, Irfan Patan 46. But we just referred to to put that innings back together with good support from the lower order. Voucher out for two, and uh, Kemp also played very controlled innings from him. Won a ball, just Kemp. And Harbhajan Singh, economical, just the one wicket.